All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for To, to Your Eternity, Eternity season, season 1, episode 16. 16. All right, so <clears throat> they defeated a knocker. Indeed. And Fushi yeah, she regained got, the forms. Yeah, got all his forms back. Yep, okay. Which is really exciting because mm -hmm. now, okay, he's got all this recollected here. He did need the help of the Islanders. Yep. And, you know, regardless of how much we like the named characters of the Islanders, the yeah. fact that this is the combined efforts, Fushi, of you mm -hmm. plus a lot of humans just generally working together. Well, and also him seeing how he has his own limitations mm -hmm. and when he tries to do things to avoid people getting hurt, that might still cause them to get hurt. Yep. So, yep. yeah. And... Uh, this is all completely independent of the tournament arc, yep. which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like that this is also kind of the growing time for Fushi. Um, sure. So as long as we can keep his you know, introspective stuff really the primary focus, I think that we can get a lot out of this uh, arc, even though I don't really like a lot of the trappings surrounding uh -huh. it in general. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. Yes, and indeed. Uh, yeah, uh, Hayase? Right. I feel like you're next. Are you going to make an appearance? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or are you going to be like the final battle of the tournament or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. All okay. right. Okay, so we got Tanari backstory. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Which, I, I gotta yeah. say, I appreciated that. Like, it, mm -hmm. it didn't do a ton to, like, change my perspective on this arc as a whole yeah. but it's something where if we're going to have tanari as the real secondary character to this arc right you know that we that she is interacting with we needed this like we badly. needed this badly two episodes ago you know like like you know so yeah. so the fact that we're getting it okay yeah. cool and the, this is a this is a this is a very important thing because um there was no reason for her backstory to be given here Nope. story-wise, as opposed to any other time. It she's was not, literally her just thinking to herself as she writes in the book. Yeah. She's not telling yeah. us, or the... Sorry, she's not telling any characters about yep. this. And that's, and this is one of the things that's kind of... um, It's a problem of the structure of it's, the arc, I it's, would say. It, yeah, Less it, her character. It, it can be, it can be a, a little bit frustrating because that, the, that backstory is basically used to try and give more understanding to the audience, but it doesn't give any new understanding to Fushi. Yeah, so it's no so, progress again. So he doesn't really have any reason to treat her any differently other than the fact that there was that whole thing of the people helping him in the previous episode against the knocker, which is cool. And kind of apologizing and being like, yes, hey, yes, I, I would have understood if you didn't come here. Right, her finally apologizing for the fact that she brought him here. And not trying to stop him. Yes. Because when yeah. she apologized, she was basically saying, yeah, if you leave now, I won't stop you. Mm -hmm. like, right. I get it. Yep. And that, that I would say, actually, that was, that, was, that, was that, was, that was the most interesting thing that happened for me in this episode in general, but specifically sure. with Tanari for sure. Yes. Because even though the backstory is there and it's a, and it's a good way to, to show sympathies and, oh, no, messed up situation, right? How did yeah. she come to this island, right? Her dad was hopefully wrongfully accused of murder, but once he's here, he ends up turning barbaric as a way to protect his daughter right or Makes just sense. as a way to get or, or or yeah get out himself yeah it could be self-motivated it could be motivated for her who knows right mm -hmm. there was that part of him that was still there because he left the you know the book and the yep. birthday note and all of that stuff yep. right but you know didn't end up working out because of course it doesn't right yep. even though he was really strong and we you know got that set up with him pulling the massive card yep. right and then he ends up actually fighting and beating everybody and she doesn't recognize him and she doesn't recognize I him. loved that little detail because it's so obvious but it's oh, yeah. like a it's like a oh oh yeah. right and it then takes like you a second to and then like the people say the full name of like the champion and everything you know and she and just kind of like, goes right oh. yeah yeah. And and, you and that's know. probably the to me that was the part that kind of hit me the most really oh, yeah? because she's not excited. No. She's not um mm -hmm. she's not elated. There's nothing right. about this that is a oh good. Yay, my dad is alive. It's like oh, my dad did die. Yeah. Like I, I feel like I feel like the backstory. I would have actually liked it to have maybe gone on a little bit longer. Yeah, I think it like, went too fast. Yeah, I think it went too fast because yeah. because considering how important it is for this arc, because Tanari is the only real character that we've gotten to know, you know, and and we're only really getting to know her now. Yeah. Um, 
I would have loved to see some extra bit bits of details to like at the dial at up the, home the life. Yeah, yeah, like in the same way that um or in, in a similar way that Hayase was like really putting it on thick with the yes. whole thing of I killed her and then I killed Perona and I killed her slowly. It and she suffered. And it she suffered. Painful. It was multiple wounds. I was thinking of slicing her face, but you know, her head was moving around so I went for the neck, but I had to use multiple hits and you know, and like it's like okay, yeah, we get it, right? Mm -hmm. I would have loved to have had something like that with the backstory where it's the honey, I'm gonna win the tournament, go here mm -hmm. when it's over, don't watch. You know, yeah, right? Like she watches, like, and then she's like, "No, no, no! I'm gonna cheer him on." You know, and right, then she right. sees what happens, right? You know, just just like little bits of extra details that I feel like could have been thrown in there to like make it land because because we we know kind of where it's going to go, yeah. right? So so just bringing like doing that that highlighting of of all the emotional beats would have yeah. been nice. And and I understand the idea that because she wants to be a writer, she wants to write a book to show her dad which is really sweet and mm -hmm. thus the journal entries are her reason for expositing and her thoughts to us the audience about her past that brought her to this point where she can potentially dream again. Yeah. Cool. That's really cool. I like that, but uh -huh. it's just for whatever reason along with this arc, there's just there's just some delivery choices of the way that they're presenting this this story yeah. that I just don't I don't resonate with. There, there's delivery choices. Then there's also like even when the explanation is given, there's a lot of contrivances in there of like, okay, so Hayase found Fushi and Pioran and was, follow was following them or something, but also was like keeping track of what they were doing, like of what. Uh, uh, Denari and the other people were doing of like taking slaves to the island. Okay, she's probably been to the island before, I guess. Well, we don't you know, know. We don't know really that much about her. No, right no, now. we don't. I, I would say, if anything, it's more. But the but the like she's her, more a mystery box still. Totally, but like the fact that like she's like, oh yes, these people are here. Cool. These other people are also here. Cool. I'm going to like that. Yeah. That, there's been time that's passed, so I feel like we're gonna get high essay backstory eventually. No, no, no totally. I, I'm just saying that um that felt like like a very uh. That f the way that Hayase was acting felt like it was something that was very much planned out. When when I think about it happening, it feels like it would be more of like an opportunistic thing of like, ooh, I see him over here. I'm gonna yeah, you know, depending on how long she was stalking him, right? Which I think more likely than not is the kind of thing where he might have been stalked by her for a while. Sure, or like when the stuff happened with Gugu in the village, she hears tales. She of, hears tales and about then, it. And then she's like, oh shit, and then she, she tries to get on the here. trail real quick, you know. Yeah, some, yeah. something and like it that. it doesn't take long for her, because this is what her job basically was as an expert hunter, yeah. tracker, right. warrior, yep. leader. And, yeah. and we know that her nation had like m like maps of the of the area and everything, mm -hmm. so she could be like, "Cool, this is where it is. Yep. Awesome. I know how to get there. You know, etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. And and Fushi and Puron aren't exactly rushing anywhere, so yeah. and there's you know. a, there's a high likelihood that because of what he did with the Oniguma situation, their society and culture and what have you went through a major upheaval of some sure. sort. Oh yeah, and we we never really found out what that nope. was or looked like, but there's some there's some there were some mm -hmm. hints that were dropped. But vengeance was arc. had against Perona and her family, mm -hmm. so that's that's something that we know, right? Probably, like, probably prob some uh, responsibility weighed upon Hayase as well. Uh, right, and that's something that I would love to see because because. Um, what Hayase is doing here doesn't interest me nearly as much as why she's doing yes. what she's doing, right? Mm -hmm. Because yep. she was specifically trying to make sure that she pissed off Fushi, right? Yes. And okay, cool. If that makes him predictable, gets him to go out of his bare form, I personally do like the idea that maybe she's made a deal with the knockers somehow and that's how she was able to avoid the bear because she was trashed just, by the bear or last just time. jumped all the way on top of the bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty foot standing jump, you know, or whatever it is, you know, Classic for anime maneuver. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. But um, the idea of using the the drug to take him out once he was in his human form, I like that. Oh, it's yeah. something that's pre-established. They mm -hmm. even reminded us of it with the comedy bit of when mm -hmm. he makes the tasty food for the yeah. kids, and yep. then it's like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. I copied <laughs> this, but there was something else in the food, that and I time. accidentally did this apparently to Gugu and company. 
right uh, back back in the previous arc, which is mm-hmm. like, oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah that, that bit of that bit of continuity and everything, and also reminding us of something else that's in Fushi's arsenal, which I would love to see him use at some yes. point. Um, yes. But so yeah, she does her whole thing. Cool. She's the leader of the village, and this will probably mean a lot more than a regular tournament because she I, defeated an immortal. Yeah, right? I think that she's potentially okay i get the, just the cold mm-hmm. read that she's on the outs I, that, she's yeah got, that's she's the, got a small group mm-hmm. of people that's with her they're sure. not necessarily on the island with her right now but she made her way onto the island either with some kind of missive giving her basically you know free access mm-hmm. or she snuck her way she's going around she's basically trying to recruit people yeah, or she, something or, yeah she's basically setting herself up to be the new honcho of this area right and then she's like wait no no no! i'm not gonna leave i'm gonna whip you all into shape sure bring some like military discipline and stuff and, and then and maybe them she's actually, got ambitions like, good shoulder, of some kind soldiers. because if you well, took and, a whole bunch of murderers and basically said no, have I'm access to, to gunpowder. I'm going to uh, I'm going to weaponize you, and we're mm. going to you know the nation right outside here that yeah. they all hate you. We're going to go out there and kill them all. Yep. We're gonna like, we're gonna we're gonna take it all for she ourselves. She could absolutely give a speech that would rouse them and all of that She's stuff. She's just insane enough, but mm. also competent enough that I think she could actually do that. Also, one of the things that I thought was good to bring up be- because it felt kind of weird when they were getting into Tanari's backstory, but at the same time, I could kind of see it happening, is that the people on the island have the way to leave, but there's no governing structure, and yet no one leaves when they have the ability to leave, you know? Like, how does that work? Okay, crabs in a bucket. All right, cool. But since they have the means of leaving... Theoretically, there's nothing stopping them. So if she gives, they're a- not unified, though. No, no, no that's, right. That's the reason. No, no, why. yeah, exactly. You're right. There's, the there's crabs in a bucket. Really does work. It, it does work, right? But there's, there's no like, uh, physical limitation. No, right? no, 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 no. But, 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 mm-hmm. but I say when I think you're saying that, there's a bit too of a black and white look at it. It's the idea that if they have say six guards on the ship. Every individual sees themselves as one person. No, no, thus, totally. six guards, for instance, is right too many. Yeah, and then well, right, and then whatever is the motivation of the people that have the ships that are specifically bringing people here? I guess it's slave labor for well, you well, know. There's but people that's... on the outside too. There's there's people on the outside as well. Well, there's the people that send people here because they're criminals. Right, right. Okay, and then I guess they just they have some guards that are stationed here to protect the ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I, I would think that that would be like, like, like they're literally mentioned as like she, she mentions them as like sailors and stuff. Like they're they're no, way no. too, they're way too. Uh, um. Right. Well, but basically, um, it it will be a cinch for Hayase to get them to get off of the and island, make a revolution, and so make a revolution if that's what she wants. Right. Yes. Um, if that's the case, like, like I feel like in the same way that we got the motivation for Tanari fleshed out here, now the next step is to get the motivation for Hayase fleshed out mm-hmm. because she seems like such a bag of cats with, you know, the the state she's in right now right. that, like, I I wouldn't be surprised if she was doing it just for like spite and revenge because you ruined my life out there. You know, mm-hmm. and so now I'm going to ruin yours, you know, somehow. But yeah. at the same time, she knows he's immortal. So even if she becomes the leader of this area, she's not going, like, like I guess she could try and capture Fushi or something like that or well, use I PR mean, on his leverage. But, like, I, I honestly think all she really needs to do is just kick his ass enough in a fight that she breaks him. All, all she really has to do is just break his will to resist through pain, through... Right, I'll hurt um, the other people you care about yeah, that are yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh-huh. and once she has a, a small army on her side, like, right. I really don't think Fushi would rampage through an army as the bear just no. to kill her. Yeah, no, he probably wouldn't. No, yeah. I think he would try to run away, but mm-hmm. then would he feel like he could abandon all these people to a mad woman on a you know on whatever her journey is right now, sure you know yeah yeah so i i feel like this is the again the impossible situation that fushi is getting thrown into again kind mm-hmm. of out of his control yeah and it feels a little bit rough to go through it but right but 
because it's a mystery box, there's a couple motivation things that are entirely up in the air. Yep, and they could go in some very, very interesting directions. But yeah, it does. It is one of those things where, like, given that we didn't, like, the tournament kind of came out of nowhere and it was a bit dissonant from the other stuff. The fact that it's also going to be ah, now there's a surprising upset feels kind of like. Well, yeah, we. I don't yeah. think it was really a surprise. It was one of our main theories that no, no, ISA no, was going no, to be no, not the that, surprise, uh, you know, not final that, boss of the tournament. No, no, right. Not that she's going to be here, but she's actually going to be able to win. Oh, um, oh, I, you know, I, I like, genuinely thought that there was a like a a clear coin toss of just how they decided to write it. Uh, because well, I I thought that maybe she would just be done in the next episode, like oh like, yeah, uh -huh. like it's a more of a thing of where. She needs to vent out her frustrations on Fushi. Exactly. And she yep. doesn't yep. really that, care about winning. Right. That's that was, what I thought it was going to be, too. Yeah. And and especially now that Fushi just got Oniguma and all, you know, all the other forms back, um, mm -hmm. and then he gets defeated, it's like, okay, all right. So, so like, it, feel, it kind of feels like this arc, which we weren't really sure where it was going in the first place, is now saying, okay, all of this was actually just... Uh, an, an intro to the real next arc, which is Hayase's in control of this island, you know. Yeah, or Hayase's going to be the right. person in control of whatever wish her wish is, you know, like what. Yeah, she's going to use the people of the island yeah. as the leader to achieve some end or something. It's, it's a rough setup because Hayase is a character pre-established, but this is not Hayase as we knew her. Right. So, so this, it's, yeah, it's it's, it's kind, kind of, of a, an entirely new character. It's kind of an entirely new character at this point, and also. The fact that the build up to Hayase coming back wasn't that enjoyable, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried as well of of Hayase's potential as a as a plot conflict, right? Because yeah, if we she go, she has to have motivations because she's not a knocker, right? If we, yeah, yeah, right, she's not a knocker, and yet she's crazy, so it could be all over the place. And if we go from the essentially filler arc where Fushi gets dragged here against his will, uh -huh. and he doesn't leave when he totally could. You know, granted, and he's PR learning and all some that things, stuff. And he's learning some things. But then, like, let's say after this, because she doesn't want him to oppose her regime, okay, I'm going to throw you also in a cell and try and make sure that you're, like, dosed regularly so you can't escape. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll it, see. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's yeah. it's interesting, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, we we've got we've got a, a a number of episodes left in this first season here, so it's yep. now just going to be the question of whether this is the first half of the arc or this is the uh, actual like end transition to a new type, right? Of arc, yeah, but with the same characters, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.